What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sailor Turn Gamer, and we are back in the building coming at you with another Anthem video. If you enjoy Anthem, no matter what stage of the game you're at, you're eventually going to hit Endgame, and Grandmaster Tears will be the only thing you care about. Bioware recently made some changes to the loot drop rate. These changes are good, but we need more. Grandmaster Tears need a change. This is our Endgame, and it desperately needs to be fixed. Well, I have some ideas for in-game content that I feel can be added immediately. Stay here and you'll be officially up to date on the latest in Anthem ranging from patch notes, news and updates, community Q&A roundups, educational videos, and much more. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a like and a share and join the fleet by hitting that sub button. Enough about that. Let's get into the talk, shall we? Right now in Anthem, the goal of the endgame is to become a legendary javelin by reaching the highest Grandmaster tier with a perfect build. Now, with that, it's all about the journey and enjoying it along the way. To do that, we have options. We got free play, legendary contracts, and we got strongholds. Now, each of these systems desperately needs to be reworked. And through multiple videos in the future, we're going to talk about each gameplay path. For now, let's just focus on the Grandmaster tier, shall we? The act of having a tiered world is nothing new, and it's something that can be a fun experience. We talked about the latest past change with loot drops, but let's go over what it actually did. In essence, it forced all players to stop staying in Grandmaster 1 and move forward. It forced us to do that with the idea of there being more and better loot on the other side. However, doing that did create a host of problems that consist of some players leaving events like Strongholds before facing the final boss due to there being no chance at a legendary. The simple fix for this would be, hey, Bioware, give us a chance at getting legendaries. Anyway, moving on from that, before I get too sidetracked, we're going to talk about some other things. Once you get to level 30, you instantly unlock the Grandmaster tiers. This is wrong and should not be. Each level should be locked by power level, with each tier unlocking and progressing with better loot. It seems as though that's the direction the game wants to go, Bioware just needs a kick in the butt to get that moving. Let me explain. Switching from Epic Gear to Masterwork Gear in Grandmaster 1 is something that should seem impactful and exciting, especially for any potential new player working their way to the endgame. Imagine being around level 25 and 30-ish, and you have a decent level build filled with Epic Gear, and then you reach a required gear score that allows you to unlock Grandmaster 1. You then begin to stay there doing various gameplay events and suddenly you unlock your very first masterwork. And then throughout time you unlock even more masterworks until Grandmaster 2. Grandmaster 2 should unlock with a fully masterwork javelin showing how far you've made it to the end game in your journey. Rinse and repeat the things you do in Grandmaster 1, but imagine now you're grinding your way to a decent set of gear that will make you a legendary javelin. And yes, now you have some legendary pieces of gear on your build, but this is where you become legendary. Chest and bosses should be dropping legendaries, not masterworks at this point. Yep, Grandmaster 3 should be about unlocking a fully legendary javelin and truly, truly becoming legendary. And now the name of the game is Mastering Your Build with a perfect legendary set. In Grandmaster 3, we should see close to a majority of masterworks drop with more legendaries as we are fighting for better roles now, not just the items themselves. At this point, Epic Gear has no value aside from crafting at this stage, and they should still drop, but I believe you should see way more masterworks here than any other point in the game. Here in Grandmaster 3, masterworks no longer have any value because your build should be a whole bunch of legendaries. I'll say it again. Chest and bosses should be dropping legendaries, not masterworks. The only way people are going to continue to grind the game at this point is if the tier of gear they're actually dropping is actually the gear that they're chasing. So a healthy mix of epics and masterworks in Grandmaster 1, and then suddenly masterworks become common in Grandmaster 2, and legendaries have to be common in Grandmaster 3. At that point, that's all that really matters. Remember, in each tier, the loot has to follow. Masterworks and legendary volume is necessary to maintain a healthy progression with the level of RNG that exists within the game. With Grandmaster tiers locked behind an appropriate gear level, Luke can actually grow without ruining progression. That's why the tiers need to be locked. It will still take time to get a top tier javelin, but the journey will be far more enjoyable this way. Now we know Elysian caches are coming in the future with an update 
and that they could help facilitate changes to make the game better. And soon, only time will tell what they'll do for the game. All I know is that if BioWare can continue to move in this direction, then the experience and journey of making your way to the Grandmaster tiers and becoming a Master Legendary Javelin can become a much better experience. Now we know the Elysian cast system will require you to play until the end of a stronghold to use your keys that you earned through daily challenges can give you special cosmetic rewards that are dropped from those caches. The issue I brought up earlier in the video about players leaving strongholds because of bosses not dropping great loot, I believe this system will fix that issue. This is where the Elysian cast system could come in and help the tiered progression we are talking about today. The caches in each Grandmaster tier could give you guaranteed loot that we've been talking about this entire video. Imagine this, Grandmaster 1, you get guaranteed masterworks with a 25% of getting another. This can help with the progression by allowing you to create your build that will help transition you to Grandmaster 2. While in Grandmaster 2, opening a cache will give you a guaranteed masterwork with a 25% chance at a legendary instead. And this will help you gain legendaries to help you transition to Grandmaster 3. And finally, once in Grandmaster 3, opening the cache will give you a guaranteed legendary with a 25% chance at another legendary because, hey, you are in Grandmaster 3 and you're doing a strong call. I mean, help a brother out. Doing this will create an environment that won't be high volume, but a high quality drop situation. Picture this. You stay to the end, opened your cache, got something most likely worth your while in addition to the cosmetics or whatever extra stuff that they want to add to the cache. The beauty in all of this is that the Elysian caches don't have to be generic. They can be whatever Bioware wants them to be. Imagine having, for example, three types of caches in the game. You have your weapon Elysian cache systems, your component Elysian cache systems, and your gear cache keys. Now, the keys for these caches could be in daily rotations or in mission-based, for example. The concept is simple. Whatever type of key you have is the type of item you will get once you open the cache at the end of the stronghold. It's guaranteed loot for you. So, imagine having a weapon key. You open up a weapon cache, you get that weapon. Or at least a chance at a weapon. But it's a guaranteed chance at a weapon. Nothing else. You open up a component cache with your component key. You get a chance at a component. Nothing else. And then vice versa for your gear as well. And I know that's a pretty basic thing. But it's just the beginning. BioWare could really experiment with this system. And over time they can offer new ways to earn rewards. Keep the community engaged. Or just have a form of targeted farming. Imagine this. Again, it's a lot of imagination, but imagine having something like an elemental cache for elemental items or like a holiday cache for things like Christmas and New Year's and, and Halloween and so on and so forth. Several holidays within the year, they could vary up the caches and make it exciting to hop in the game to get cosmetics, rewards, and gear. Due to this, I really do believe that in the end, the player base would be much more happier than where we are right now. And due to experiencing this, I don't think any other people want to leave strongholds and that stronghold abandonment would cease to exist. And overall, there would be an increase in player engagement because I believe this would put the game in a better position to shine. Anyone that's made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate it. Be sure to stay here for all things Anthem. I'll continue to do my best to cover everything about the game and give my thoughts and opinions on as much as I can. If you enjoy that type of content again please be sure to give the video a like and a share so more people can get an opportunity to know and understand the type of content we create here and more importantly be sure to join the fleet help us grow be a part of this journey all you have to do is hit that sub button until then this sale will be on the open ocean peace Bye. Bye.